say that I want male. I hate like over dramatizing <laughs> sometimes though. Oh my god, I'm so. Oh my god, it's stuff I got in the mail. I'm so super excited. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Should just add that for and giggles. <laughs> good old B roll bonus. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 go put it in the uncut. <laughs> So today we got some mail, um, so the body kit we're waiting on, the front and the rear bar has finally rocked up. Uh, I have not opened them yet, I saved the opening for you guys, so we'll open them together. Um, leave your comments below. Cut. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> so I haven't said anything or given anything away as to what this kit actually is yet, so I want you guys to have a quick guess. You've got about 60 seconds before this cardboard starts coming off to have a guess what style kit it is and who made it. So I don't know if I did or did not explain previously in some of the other vlogs, but if you guys are wondering who Ross is, Ross, <laughs> Ross builds carbon fiber stuff and fiberglass stuff. That is one down, guys. And it had a hell of a lot of sticky tape, cardboard nappy boxes, and a bunch of other stuff. So this is the front bar. So this front bar is by Eurus, and it's called Monkey Magic Type S. It was around in the 90s, I'm pretty sure. And there's a couple of examples of it online, and some cool old school vinyl uh, classic looking cars. And by classic, I just mean sex specky looking. <laughs> 90s auto yeah, 90s auto salon, pretty much. <laughs> Where fiberglass reigns supreme. So, this bar will be the base foundation for what will be modified onto the 180SX front. I picked this bar because I like the design um, and how fairly square and aggressive it was. And because it's quite dated, it may actually suit the look I'm going for. Bits I liked off this bar that kind of caught my interest and made me decide to go for this mainly was because you've got these bottom canards here that are moulded into the bar and I think it's a nice kind of shape overall that will work quite well with the rest of it um, and it can be modified fairly easily to change it up for instance um, I could put a piece of acrylic on the inside here or I could change it up I could put a piece of um, I could like mould myself a piece of carbon fibre you know that kind of thing like it, it's a good base to create something else out of not just copy paste and stick it on a car. Japanese. I'm sorry, officer. It was my boyfriend's car. It's red. <laughs> oh, don't do that. That would be hilarious. I have done that once before. You were like, oh, who owns this car? I'm like, my it's boyfriend. My boyfriend. It's my boyfriend. What's wrong with it, officer? <laughs> Need to break it. Didn't you have 300 ZX lights in an iPhone? Yeah. Which matches it fucking perfectly. Yes, uh, kind of, so... But how's your high beam? <laughs> there is none? Oh. Yeah, gotta go right. Yeah, you're about there, yeah. Yep. Not bad, eh? Mm. <laughs> it is a long way to go. But yeah, no, it looked cool. This is uh, the original... Sorry, I'll get the lights on so you guys can see a bit better. So another reason I picked this bar is you can see from the top to the bottom it's just a continuous slope. It doesn't kind of have the the usual rounded edge or, or the, the big square front on it. It kind of keeps coming down and it kind of flows fairly well with the bonnet and the slope of the car. But yeah, this uh, you can do this with a standard unmolested, unmodified S chassis. You just need an S14 bonnet, a 180SX front bar. You just need to get uh, modified hinges or modify your OEM hinges by welding tabs on and changing the mounting points of where the bonnet will mount onto the hinges to run this look on your car. But then of course you probably need projectors or some form of small headlight because you will not be able to run the S14 headlights and you will not be able to run the 180SX headlights. But something like this would work really really well for a track car. You can just run projectors or you could pull projectors out of uh, existing headlights if they're old and damaged. Or you can just get light bars and just be really, really obnoxious. <laughs> Rock up to the track and be like, boom, is this light? So we still have part number two, aka the rear bar to open up. So if you guys haven't guessed already, Eurus Type S Monkey Magic Bar, 
What will the rear be? It'll be a box of nappies or an air fryer, we don't know. <laughs> a box of nappies or a what? An air fryer. An air fryer? Yeah. You don't have an air fryer. I was about to say, is that like some supercharger lingo that I'm Are not... Are you kidding? You don't have... It's an air fryer? kitchen appliance. Did you... That is exactly why I don't know what that is. It's a kitchen appliance that cooks like potato chips amazingly. I have no idea what that is. You need to buy an air fryer from Kmart and put some potatoes in. Sucks! I just need like flash dance, like the coolest music. Hey, we have a oh, keyboard. It's a logic keyboard. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> so the rear bar was 380, I think, and the front bar was 380. Side skirts, I think they wanted 284. Cheap. It's not too bad. It's cheap. So this is the Eurus. Uh, Monkey Magic Type S as well to match the front bar over there. Now, you guys might be sitting there going, but it looks exactly like the bar you just pulled off the car. <laughs> Which is exactly what Ross was saying. <laughs> However, this bar is very, very different. Um, the design of the rear diffuser part here, the outsides here, and the overall height and how the bar sits on the car is very, very different from the uh, Origin Bracing Line rear bar. Um, if you go back through the vlogs, you can check this straight away, otherwise I'll try and find a photo for you. Uh, this part here is completely different, so you can see how it comes down, out, down, and then flares, whereas the Origin is completely flat and kind of just tucks in and under. The diffuser fins on the back here, on the Origin one, start here, 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 and here, so they're a lot closer together, they're smaller, and the angle of the bar, I'll smooth the bar, This bar, you can see right there, has a really big angle to it, like, like a ramp. So this part here, will, this will come right down behind the rear wheel, and this kind of flares up, but it sits a lot lower overall than the Origin Racing Line rear bar ever did. I blew it up. That's why you're not driving anymore. So, Russ is talking about the FD. <laughs> it's the only car covered car. It's it's the mintiest car, so I figure it can stay me. We'll just put a V8 in it. No! No! Sacrilege. <laughs> Have they seen the phone yet? Have they seen the phone yet? Uh, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> hey. So if she hasn't shown you yet, she stuck some green to her car. It's really, really wide. <laughs> it's just a little bit wide. This is how everyone mounts body kits. Yeah. I can't mount this on yet because I need to cut up my foam box just a bit higher before it'll sit nice and flush. But at least it will give me an idea of how the bar is going to sit, how wide I need to make it, and what I'm working with. So I think this will work. Um, it will change up, so that bar will change slightly from that. Um, I might take out, you can see on the back, how it's still got kind of the OEM rounded bar on here. I may make that a bit smoother. And I've still got to blend that in with the rest of the overfender as well. This is why I done the front that I did the first time. Because you put these two together and they look so damn good in my mind. I love how S14 and 180S6 just kind of somehow go together. Oh. I think this bar is like naturally wider than the average bars anyway. I used to have to run pods and flares just to get my, my front bar to come out just as wide as my wheels. However... This front bar naturally does it without pods. It's not mounted correctly, I know, but still, that is, that's great. Like, look at this.
That is exciting news. Try not to trip over cardboard and baby nappy boxes and tires. <laughs> Cover. What do you guys say? After I figure out how I'm going to go about the, with the headlights or what headlights I'm going to do and the guards as well. The guards are a big thing so I know how wide I can go. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe even raising this whole section here so it sits flush, like perfectly flush with the bonnet. Or maybe just build it up a little. So it's not an overlap. Yeah, so the endless amounts of internet trolls always gave me about it overlapping. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> it's a drift car. It looks it's fine. That should be really good to work with. I'm gonna fall over again in the boxes. If you're liking where this is heading, please click that subscribe button, like, comment, share, tell your friends if you want to get them on board to follow the craziness. Um, now you know what kit is on the car, however, it will be modified and it will change up. The whole car will change up. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay tuned. It, it will oh, me. Watch till the end, all the bloopers will be there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a completely unscripted vlog. <laughs> My camera died. <laughs> Take the 600. <laughs> <laughs> Take, take 700 and something something. <laughs> no pressure. So that is it for today's reveal vlog today. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, don't fuck up, don't fuck up. Oh, fuck up. <laughs> I'm just gonna end it. Thank you so much for sharing and commenting the stuff. Um, and if you're enjoying the build, please continue. It will get crazy from ya. Um, until next time, I will see you soon. And probably screw that one up too. You do the whole see you soon on the wind. I needed like a that's a wrap kind of thing, but I didn't want to. Yeah, and, and, and then they fucking zone out. Whatever you're for. And come obligatory zoom out. Love Goodbye, wrap.